Dear students, in this example, it has been given that a rod of length L is moved horizontally with a uniform velocity V in a direction perpendicular to its length through a region of a uniform magnetic field which is acting vertically downwards. Derive the expression for the EMF induced across the ends of the rod. This is the first part and the second rod is second part is how does one understand this motional EMF by invoking the Lorentz force acting on the free charge carriers of the conductor that means free electrons. So let's first uh, look at the image or the scenario that we are talking about in the first case. So in the first case this is the region of magnetic field and magnetic field is B it is inwards inside the screen and here this rod or the conductor is moving with a velocity V. So definitely we already know because it is moving with a velocity V the flux flux across S, S R P Q is increasing with time and because of this change in flux uh, there will be an induced uh, EMF. Now that induced EMF is uh, nothing but the rate of change of flux that would be d phi by dt. So let's see how the flux changes. Let's talk about dt time. For example this was t is equals to 0 and after dt time this rod would have come here and would have traveled a distance of v, v dt. So it traveled a distance of v dt. So we can say that the differential change in this dt time the change in the flux was equals to is equals to the uniform magnetic field because my magnetic field is not changing into the delta that is change in area in this dt time how much area changed that change in area will be equal to l into v dt because this much area has increased so we can say the change in flux that is increase in flux will be equal to b into v l dt b, b v l dt now we we, uh, we can see this is d phi and this is b v l dt so if we from this expression we come to the conclusion that d phi by dt is equals to b v l similarly we can say that induced emf that would be E will be equal to d phi by dt which is nothing but BVL. Now this is this will be the answer to our first part. Now let's look at what is being asked in the second part. Second part says how does one understand this motional EMF. Now we have to understand this same concept by invoking the Lorentz force acting on the free charge carriers of the conductor and then we have to explain this also. So the best way to do it is, now this is the moving conductor, it has some electrons, uh, free electrons, say this is a free electron. Now because of the motional EMF you, could see, you can see the positive and the negative charges. So if this is the free electron, definitely this free electron will experience two forces. One force will be due to electric field because of the EMF uh, that has been created. So this force will act in this direction. Because the electric field direction is downwards but because this is a negative charge so it will experience a force in the upward direction. Now, we'll, uh, it, now because this is a moving charge and this charge is moving in a magnetic field. So uh, the charge into V cross B that is magnetic force is Q into V cross B will be if the, if the charge is positive it would be in the upward direction but because the charge is negative it would experience a magnetic force in the downward direction. So we can say this charge is equal to F, Fm. This is magnetic uh, charge. So we can say that at equilibrium the Lorentz Lorentz force will be zero. That means at equilibrium. Now this is for one electron. At equilibrium we can conveniently say that this force the vector sum plus Fm both should be equal to 0. Now in order to get this we write this equals to this is the charge Q on which this is acting Qe plus Q V cross B should be equal to 0. 
so from here we can write that electric field q and q will get cancelled because the scale up e will be equals to minus times v cross b now this is all in vectors so we can conveniently say that we can say that the magnitude of e should be equal to b v sin theta and sin theta is now why is it sin theta because the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector is 90 degrees so we can say this is bv sin theta so basically we get e, uh, the electric field as bv so we can write this electric field as in terms of emf we can write dv by dr is nothing but bv and automatically when we mark this as dv is equals to bv dr and integrate on both the sides we can find the emf from this this way also we can say that the emf will be equal to or the potential difference will be equal to bv into l so this is another way to look at the same problem so that will be the answer to both the parts this one and this one this is a rate of change of flux and that one through the lorentz force